Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to our March meeting 2019 SCORI Sessions Preparations Webinar. I really hope that you're feeling as excited as we are for this amazing GA that we're about to attend. And here with me today, we have two amazing members of our SCORI uh, international team, Javier and uh, Natasha. Would you like to say hi, guys? Hello guys, my name is Javier. I am the SCORI EDA. I'm from IFMC Honduras and I'm eager to meet each and every one of you in the March meeting. So I hope this video serves uh, really well to all of you. Hi guys, I'm Natasha Budon. I'm the SCORI RA for AMR from IFMC Joel. And I'm so looking forward to meeting you all and literally counting the days. Okay, great. Thank you so much. So now we are going to move into our presentation. So here we go. So what we'll be, be addressing today, uh, we're going to talk very briefly and try to cover as much ground as possible. So if you have any questions during the presentation, please don't hesitate to ask us. We're going to start by introducing you to our SCORI sessions team. Um, and those members that will be attending. Then we're going to go through the agendas. We're going to overview the general agenda and the SCORI sessions agenda. Then we will talk about the regional standing committee sessions, joint sessions, and small working groups that we will have. Uh, also, we're going to talk about how to prepare for the March meeting. We're going to do a very brief talk about voting right tasks, to-do list, and a little bit more about the SCORI survival kit. Then we're going to talk a little bit about the exchanges fair, not only how to survive it, but also how to thrive and have a really, really productive time during the fair. And also tell you what you shouldn't forget to bring to the March meeting. So here we go. To introduce you to your amazing March meeting sessions team, you have uh, members of your international team, first and foremost. Uh, you're going to have me, Erwin Barboza, as the SCORI director. You have Wing Chung as the SCORI General Assistant, Javier, who is here with us as the External Development Assistant for SCORI. You have Alex from Hungary, he is our Internal Development Assistant. You have Ashmeet from MSAI India, she is our RA for Asia Pacific. Natasha, as you know, she's here, the RA for the EMR. You have Simi, that's our RA for Europe. And continuing with our associates team, we'll have Chris from BVMD Germany, who is the voting board, as well as Matthew from BEMSA Belgium and Victor Sinati, he is from Denim Brazil. All of them are members of our supervising board. As members of our sessions team, we will have Funky Meng from IFMSA China, Veronica Moreno from AMEF Mexico, and Dunia Vielic from uh, IFMSA Serbia. So I hope that you can now see the faces and put a uh, face to the name and hope that you can recognize them during the sessions and uh, hope that we all have a great, great time together. Now to talk about the agenda, we'll have Javier. So um, going up on the general agenda for the March meeting, as you can see um, in the, well, in this agenda, you can see that we have all of the plenary spaces assigned. And as you can see, uh, the the sessions the sessions time for the standing committees for SCORI, it is not like all divided for the same time as as from previous um, general assemblies. So you need to be very careful with the agenda so you don't miss any of the sessions we are given. And on the general topics, uh, you can see that we will have regional sessions, team event. We'll also for the first time we will have an IFMSA fringe event. If you don't know what that is, it's basically inspired by the fringe theater. And in short, the Fringe represents a performing arts festival where anyone is able to participate with any type of performance. Uh, the categories can be theater, comedy, dance, physical theater, etc. And there, there is a theme for it, so just for you to know. Uh, also on the day zero, which is the arrival day, you can see that we don't have any scoring sessions there. But you will have to be with your delegation on the plenary, plenary simulation, as well on the opening ceremony and dinner. And the last day, which will be day five, is the last day we have uh, uh, sending committee sessions. So we want you to use your time wisely during these four working days in these quarry sessions. And to talk about the, the specific sessions and our specific quarry agenda, um, can we pass the slide, please? 
as you can see, we have a very um, loaded um, agenda, if you could call it so, uh, packed with the most relevant topics we decided as IT that you are going to be uh, needing, even if you are new to SCORI or even if you're an experienced SCORI member in NORI, for example, that these are the most relevant sessions we, we chose. So, for example, um, in on, you see that we will have IT sessions. We will have parallel sessions on most of the days. We have the exchanges fair. We have joint sessions with other standing committees. And during day four and day five, we'll have um, really um, important topics being going on because we are going to be voting for our um, proposals for our changes. And also, we are going to be working on all the small working groups together with Scopy, for example. So going on day by day for you to know what to expect from each day, we'll begin with day one. Can you put it, please? So in day one, um, our sessions will begin right after the lunch. And we will begin with an introduction to the sessions, the sessions team, and a team building activity. After that, we will begin parallel sessions. These parallel sessions are going to be uh, uh, divided in basic sessions and SCORI and introduction to SCORI, and also uh, another kind of sessions for more experienced uh, members in Norris and Koreans for analysis, the international team updates, what we have been doing, and what are our upcoming plans, and also some time for SCORI IT questions and answers, so you can have a, a free space to answer, to, to make questions to us. After that, we are going to make an introduction to the small working groups and all of the topics we're going to be discussing. And the final going to be, again, parallel sessions. The one is going to be a sharing is caring session. While those interested in the other topic, which is policy documents, you are going to be attending that policy documents preparations, preparation session and also a policy documents discussion. So basically, this, is the, the, this will be the wrap up of day one. When we go to day two, uh, day two is uh, we begin early in the agenda and we will begin with uh, the standing committees joining forces basically with uh, through the small working groups. They will be taking place for one and a half hours approximately and they will be covering multiple topics. After we're done with the small working groups, we will begin parallel sessions again. And this time we're going to have a SCORI and SCOPI regulation changes, proposals, discussions. And the other sessions where you can you will be able to attend are an IDA session and also an external representation session in SCORI. After that, you will have introduction to the small working groups back again and work. And we will have uh, the supervising board candidatures. As you may know, some members are presenting their candidatures to be part of the SCORI international team through the supervising board. So they will be presenting and we will be able to make questions to them. And finalizing for day two, we will have two training sessions, one of them in intercultural learning and one of them for academic quality. And you'll one you want. For um, day three, day three, basically, it's your, your shine on. <laughs> day three is the big day to showcase your exchange programs in each of your countries. So um, we will have the exchanges fair. But prior to that, we will have the joint sessions in the morning. And the joint sessions, well, as you will see there during the March meeting, we will have uh, different topics, really interesting topics, where you will be able to um, to register and you'll be able to go to whichever one you want. And then finalizing the day will be the exchange sphere, which we will be explaining further in this presentation. For day four, day four, to be honest, it's kind of short, but we are going to have really, really important sessions, as I was telling you before, because we will be having parallel sessions. First of all, we will be having the the regulation changes proposals. Uh, we'll have that voting and also the supervising uh, board voting. How is this going to proceed? Well, if you are a NORI or if you are the, the top representative of SCORE in your country during the March meeting, then you will be there in the in the RCP voting because you we need we need your vote there. And the peers, the people that is not going to be directly uh, uh, voting per se on, on this procedure, then you can be able to join the exchanges team management session or you can also go to the promotion and marketing in exchanges. And after these parallel sessions, we will have a, a really special moment, which we call animal presentations, where those interested can show and tell about their exchange program, um, basically what you have uh, achieved in your countries and share with all participants about what makes Corey in your animal great. Finally, for day five, unfortunately, our last day in these Corey sessions, we'll begin this day 
with parallel sessions where we're going to be giving sustainability, strategic planning, and annual working plan sessions. Uh, also, how to set the, the annual working plan, the external representation in exchanges, and how, could, how to conduct NGA sessions. After all of these parallel sessions, we'll be having a supervising board session where basically our, our score ESB will update and guide participants in the project forms, how to fill them, and what kind of projects we have, and basically a, a, a session um, which thematic is going to be about the projects we have. And finally, we will have the small working groups and the March meeting 19 outcomes. And the last point in our agenda will be the pictures, our whole scorey picture, and basically goodbye words from each and every one of you. So as you can see, the agenda for all of these days, uh, some days it's not that packed at all or not um, that much time assigned to them. But we will have really, really important sessions going on during the, all of the working days. So we expect you to be on time there and to also bring all of your energy, enthusiasm, and be ready to just have fun and learn more about SCORI. Awesome. Thank you so much, Javier. We have a couple of questions from Hassan. Uh, the first question that he has is, what is the sharing is caring session? And secondly, uh, what are the policy documents to be discussed and prepared? Uh, to answer the first question, sharing is caring is a method that we use in which Noris can share about their struggles and also their uh, successes regarding certain topics. These topics will be divided in stations and during the 90-minute session of sharing is caring you will be able to change stations and be able to share and also learn on how to deal with uh, some of the situations that will be presented to you in these stations. On the second one, on what are the policy documents to be discussed and prepared? Uh, technically, the policy document has already been prepared, uh, and SCORI has one uh, policy document relevant to its work, that is the Access to Research and Research Education policy document. This document has already been submitted through the NMO server and will be voted on uh, during, this, uh, during this March meeting. So the idea for this is that all people present can discuss and can join the discussion on a policy document of their choosing. So if you're really interested in what is the work that we do externally and uh, you really are involved in policy making and your NMO or would like to learn more of how we do it, then this is a really, really good uh, idea and a really good session to attend to. So that I hope that answers your question. If you have any more, please don't hesitate to uh, come to us uh, with more. So we're moving on. Now I'm going to talk about uh, regional sessions. And about regional sessions, as you know, you will have uh, five sessions, one with uh, each region, and that depends on the regional sessions time that you will have. Uh, just to give you a little heads up, during day one, the regions of Asia Pacific and EMR will have their standing committee regional sessions, which means that the SCORI regional sessions will happen in day one for Asia Pacific and the EMR. And for Africa, the Americas and Europe, uh, the regional sessions will take place in day four. So in Africa, due to our RA for Africa and Mecca not being able to attend, I will be taking care of the African regional sessions. And we're gonna be discussing about the exchanges in the region and what are the challenges that they're currently facing. We really hope that this is gonna help you in understanding and visualizing what are the main issues that are struggling the region so we can find solutions and we can all get better exchange programs for it. In the Americas, because we don't have our regional assistant Eugenio, we will have uh, Veronica from MF Mexico helping us in ex the exchange situation in the Americas. It's going to be very discussion based and we really hope that you enjoy it if you will be attending. About Asia Pacific, you'll be going with Ashmeet and your session will be joined with Scopi on the basics of exchanges and problem solving. Again, this is going to tackle a lot of issues that the Asia Pacific region uh, faces about exchanges. And so we really hope that you make the most of it and you get to learn a lot from them. In the EMR sessions with Natasha, you will talk about the implementation of the Scopian Scori initiatives in the region. So it's going to be really, really interesting. Um, there are many initiatives that Scori and Scopi have been working on for the past term. 
So it's going to be really, really rich and full of many, many different topics. So we hope that you enjoy it and that you learn a lot from it too. And last but not least, in the European Standing Committee sessions with Simi, you will talk about the global and regional priorities and exchanges. So not only will you talk about the global priorities that involve SCORI and SCOPI, but you'll also talk about the regional priorities of the European region. And it's going to be really, really great. So we hope you enjoy it too. Now, we're going to move on to the joint sessions that we will be hosting on the morning of day three after the walking tour. So we hope that you don't uh, come back from the walking tour so tired. We're going to be hosting three joint sessions. One of them is going to be with SCOMI, and it's going to talk about the basic research competency framework that we're working on. Um, it's going to be really good because we're going to work on something fairly new for us and something that's really going to help our exchange program grow and gain recognition from external. So if you're really into medical education and you want to know more about what this is, then give it a read and give it a look and hopefully you get to attend it too. In the human rights-based conflict, uh, human rights-based conflict management and exchanges, we're going to be working and joining forces with SCOPI and SCORP, and we're going to be talking about how do conflicts appear uh, in exchanges, something that we all know already, uh, conflict management in exchanges, but we're going to give it a little twist and we're going to add some human rights related conflict management. So we're going to go a little bit deeper and we're going to talk about conflicts that are a little bit more complicated. And hopefully you'll get to learn a lot of it. And uh, also you get to implement a lot of the new things you've learned in your NMO. In the last uh, joint session, we will be working together with Scopy again and SCORA this time. And we're gonna talk about inclusive PDTs and UATs. Uh, this is to tackle a problem that we have that maybe UATs and PETs are not as inclusive as they should be regarding SRHR. So uh, we really hope that this session is going to help you in involving yourself and getting to create more inclusive spaces for all people. And we really hope that you enjoy either of the three that you attend. We're really working hard and we hope that you enjoy it. Then on to small working groups. Um, SCORI will have a total of eight small working groups that will be four for Scorians only and four that will be joined with other standing committees. As you can see right there, um, the topics for SCORI will be increasing the deadlines for AFs and CAs, how to motivate your contact persons and lorries. You will have a small working group on how to build and create a national research camp which is a great initiative that was built on last year, and we really want to keep it going and implementing at the national level. And another small working group on capacity building and exchanges. About the joint small working groups, with SCOPI, we will have a database strategy and improvement small working group that we hope that you really enjoy. We're working really hard and we're trying to address all issues of the database. So if you really want to give your opinion, it's a really great session to attend to. With SCOF, we're going to talk about public health exchanges in GAP. In an effort to align our work and join our forces, we are going to start a discussion that should have started a long time ago, and hopefully you get to take a lot of insight from it, and hopefully it leads to great outcomes at the international level too. The research educational activities small working group will be joined with SCOMI, and we'll focus on how we want to create more research-focused educational activities for our students when they're on exchange. And we will go through every step and the idea is to try to create a very good outcome, a sort of manual that we can use so that uh, SCORI students can receive good research educational activities and not just general or clinical skills educational activities. And the last one, is going to be joint between SCOPI, SCORI, and SCOMI. And we are really trying to find uh, a way through this small working group that is the role of medical education and academic quality to include SCOMI in our work as uh, exchange committees. And we want to improve our academic quality by bringing them in and helping us 
uh, reach new levels and find new methods and ways that we can improve it. So this small working group is really focused again for medical education. We really hope that uh, you can take a lot of it and that you can also participate a lot because I feel a lot of participants are also interested in the topic. So those are the small working groups that we will have. And now we go back to Javier that's gonna talk to us a little bit more about voting right tasks. So basically, uh, as you may know, uh, there was a voting rights tracker for HNMO about some tasks you needed to achieve before uh, being able to, to go in and have the right to vote during the uh, regulation changes proposals, which is a session we're going to have, as I mentioned before, in the agenda. So basically, there were four basic voting rights tasks you need to, to have accomplished uh, for the March meeting, which number one was update all projects in the database and submit changes to the Corey Supervising Board. Basically, this email was sent in January, in December, January, by the Supervising Board that we needed to update all the projects we have in our NMOs so that we can know which projects are now obsolete, which ones have changed, if we have new projects. Basically, every change we have done, we needed to, to tell the Supervising Board about it. Number two was to submit the Norway report. The due date for this was the February the 1st. Uh, if you didn't submit it, then I believe you lost your, your voting rights because this was a really important step to achieve your voting rights. Number three is to submit your late part of acceptances form, um, which again, it's fundamental, uh, not only to get the voting rights, but for us to measure the economic quality and to measure the exchanges impact and, and all the logistics parts we are having to see if we have any difficulties in, in any NMO. And number four is basically to review and update your personal information on the database in on the database, sorry. So that you can update your email if you change Norris in your NMO, for example, to change the names to the new ones, to if you change emails and put it there, your your stamp. Uh, basically just update your profile. And basically those were the four basic voting rights you needed to um, to have done, the, the tasks you needed to have done to achieve these voting rights, which again it's really, really fundamental for you to have voting rights because of all the regulation changes proposals, uh, the IT proposed, and also U.S. Norris and Loris and Scorians proposed uh, during the time we were accepting proposals. So basically, these are uh, the voting rights tasks you needed to to have done. And we'll go to the next one. Uh, and some tips uh, to do before the March meeting. Well, first of all, um, as I was telling here nationally to to one of my members, of my delegation members, the basic fundamental step for you to go and know everything in these Corey sessions is to read about these Corey survival kit. The survival kits were shared through the NMO servers and also through the Corey and Nori servers to all of you so that you can prepare and there you will have the agendas, you will have all of the topics we will be discussing, the small working groups, the joint sessions, your session team, so that is the, the most important step for you to prepare to the March meeting. Also, you need to participate in the discovery regulation changes proposals discussion. Um, there is a space where you can be able, where you're able to send us input on the different proposals uh, for the changes. And we made this because we want to the the voting uh, procedure during the March meeting to be as smooth as possible and don't waste it is not wasting but not spend so much time on discussions we can make um, online and virtually so if you have any input to give to the changes to the proposals then please do it so on the time stipulated also you need to submit your problems to the problem solving session so please do so before attending the merge meeting and the last one is to read the story reports to be prepared to give input and ask questions during the sessions so it's basically just um, giving your input virtually for all of these topics and to prepare yourself reading the Scorey Survival Kit, which when we talk about the Scorey Survival Kit, can you go to the next one? The Scorey SK, well, as you may know, each of the standing committee's um, sessions, all of us, we have survival kits, and the topics we address in this manual or in this booklet are basically, you can find them on the table of contents, which basically is the introduction to IFMSA, introduction to Scorey, which are the Scorey Active NMOs, a welcome message from the IT, um, the pictures and names and positions of all the SCORI sessions team, also the general March meeting agenda, the SCORI sessions agenda, the IFMSA global priorities event in the March meeting, which is a unique event. It is the first time we do something like this in our general assembly. 
So you will be able to register so to those of the to those global priority events. Also, the IPMSA code of conduct, which is uh, really important for you to read, so you know how to behave during the during the March meeting. Also, a what to bring section, so you will be able to know what kind of stuff to bring. Basically, blue stuff, and we will also have a presentation for this. And had the way to contact us, the emails of each and every one of us at the Scori IT. And important abbreviations you need to manage, like for example, AFs, just to give an example. So you can find all of the relevant information the Scori survival, uh, on the Scori session survival kit. And you can find this kit, you can find the link for it in the description of this video. Okay, thank you, Javier. So moving on to my favorite event of the General Assembly is the Exchange Fair how to survive it and how to thrive in it. Uh, as you may know, you have to create a poster about your exchange program together with Scopy. So Nori's and Neo's, please collaborate on this. The template can be found in the Nori folder. So if you don't have access to that, please contact your Nori if they delegated the task of creating the poster uh, to you. You should be in contact with them to have access to the template. And please keep in mind that we're trying to be as eco-friendly as possible. So anything that you can print on recyclable paper, please do so. And we all love to get like, stickers and goodies and notebooks in the exchange fair, but please try to maintain, like we try to be as eco-friendly as possible. We're trying to go sustainable. Uh, can you have the next slide, please? Okay. So what do you need to do? Tips and tricks to thrive in the exchange fair. Uh, please arrive early to set up your booth. Um, it's going to be very hectic and there isn't, you're not going to have tons of space. So you need to think about how to use your limited space in a smart way. So get there early and you are not going to have a lot of time. Remember that you're going to have like less than a minute to impress the person standing in front of you. So if you can, prepare like a little speech that you can whip out at, at the moment's notice, that would be perfect. Uh, plan your booth to succeed, like fill it with all kinds of promotion material, all kinds of goodies you can hand out. Uh, if you want to present any videos or pictures from your uh, exchange program, that would be great. The more visual aids, the better. Uh, only two people can be at the fair for Scori, well, kind of, because in the first couple of hours, the exchange fair is limited to Scopy and Scori participants. But after that, it's open to the general public and that's when that's when things go really crazy. So prepare for the mania. Uh, okay, so what do you need to tell people and especially the judges that will be circling the booths? Uh, please, they, we all want to hear about your social program and how anyone can uh, might have an amazing time in your uh, on their in their exchange with you, but please keep in mind we want to hear about your academic quality. So focus on your academic quality initiatives. Tell us if you hold pre-departure trainings and upon arrival trainings in your NMO. If what kind of uh, educational activities do you plan? How often? Um, just let us know all of these things and what you what you have in your NMO. And of course, where should we go to your country? What experiences do you offer that we won't find anywhere else? And what makes your exchange program unique? Next slide, please. Okay, so this is your packing checklist for the GA. Please don't forget your Nori stamp to read the survival kit and all documents that are sent through the servers. Uh, they will be extremely helpful for you. You'll be lost without them. So please read up, do your homework. Uh, hard copies of the invitation letters. Uh, if the national officer is not attending, please be in contact with them regarding this. Because as you may know, their uh, national, national officers can request hard copies uh, during the March meeting. So you'll need to deliver those. Uh, your poster, of course, and all kind of goodies from your countries and promotional material. Just please keep in mind to be sustainable, like we said. Your Scory t-shirt and uh, all kinds of blue things for our blue party, which we're gonna have. Uh, so anything from clothes, accessories, drinks, anything you can think of. And your exchanges mascot, 
that, of course, because we all love to take pictures and have our turn with all the amazing exchange mascots. Um, bring your enthusiasm. Okay. Um, so that does it for the presentation. Now we will open a space for questions and I'm jumping in because I see a question from Hassan. Uh, will there be a competition for the exchange fair between the NMOs? Uh, yes, there will be. More information on the criteria that we will use we will be sent to Norris beforehand, at least with 48 hours before the exchanges fair takes place. So please stay on the lookout for that. Uh, so we will send you all the specifics that we're looking for. Just like last year's March meeting, we'll also start considering um, environmental sustainability. So if you find yourself using uh, reusable stuff or goodies that are not just stickers or paper based, uh, if you can hand out stuff that could be reused or uh, if you reduce your total waste, it would be much like many more points for you. So that's a thing to be considered. I hope that clears up the question. Now, if there are any other questions, please feel free uh, to ask them right now. We're gonna leave about a minute where you can type down and ask any questions that you might have. those of you that are attending this webinar for like as the first one of the day please remember that there was another webinar uh about two hours ago that had to do with the regulation change proposals if you haven't attended it please do it would be of really really great help to you and your voting procedures during the march meeting and hopefully it saves you a lot of time of preparation so we hope that you take a look at it and you can enjoy it Hi, Wing. So I see that there are no questions. So I think that we can uh, wrap it up. So I'm going to ask our presenters to turn on their cameras once more just to say goodbye. So from me and from the SCORI sessions team, we want to thank you for watching this webinar and we really hope that you attend these sessions and that you have an amazing time with us. Please feel free to approach us if you have any doubts of or concerns at any point. We are more than happy to help you. So thank you so much and see you in Slovenia. Bye.